Now we have a session on driving D2C growth with superior post-purchase engagement by Mr. Gaurav Gupta, co-founder Shipway. With the help of self-service portals for tasks like looking up an order, tracking a shipment, placing a returns request, instant refunds, and easy exchanges, Shipway is a pioneer in helping brands deliver exceptional post-purchase services. Let's hear more from Mr. Gupta. Uh, hello everyone, thank you for joining us today and uh, it's an honor to be part of such a great event and uh, myself Gaurav Gupta, I am the co-founder of Shipway and today we are going to talk about how you can drive your uh, e-commerce growth with the help of say, an excellent post-purchase experience. Uh, Shipway is an e-commerce uh, shipping uh, automation partner. And so to start with, uh, we'll start from the customer journey of for any e-commerce brand. So there are two aspects of it. Uh, one is uh, the pre-purchase part, where the customer uh, needs something, they research on the internet, they then finally select on the website and uh, finally uh, are able to purchase it. Like there are various aspects of it in the uh, pre-purchase purchase journey, but I am sure like everyone, uh, like most of the people are uh, have mastered on this aspect because it's, this is something where easily, which can easily be seen and feel the difference. Uh, by tweaking or adding new things on the website. Other uh, Another thing that uh, we can focus on is the post-purchase part and uh, which is like once the customer has purchased, uh, you need to actively serve those customers and and the major difference between a, a good brand versus a successful brand lies in this journey. So if you are able to master this part and you can get to retain the customers better, you can reward them you can uh, increase your repeat purchase and you can finally have your customer, customers to recommend your products or services to your other friends and colleagues. So the so mantra to uh, deliver an excellent post-purchase experience is uh, you have to be proactive rather than reactive and you have to reach your customers before uh, they have to reach you in order to resolve, get the, all their resolution or to know where uh, exactly is their order or to get the refund or exchanges. Just if we, if we take an example for any Mintra or Amazon, I don't think uh, it, like in the last 12 or 12 or 24 months, I have, I have to reach their customer support in order to get my query resolved, uh, in order to get to know where, when I will be able to get my products and what is the average delivery time for that. So the same same thing is uh, what the customers are expecting from us. And on today's presentation is majorly divided into four parts. Uh, one is the proactive post-purchase communications. Uh, other is to solve the delivery issues that happens uh, during uh, transit or the deliveries and offering the customers a great uh, returns or exchange experience. And finally, uh, to be able to measure the customer's satisfaction score and uh, to get reviews that, uh, from them, which can be act as uh, social proof, proof for your website. So there is a big gap in uh, when we talk about the post purchase communication. So there is a big gap, like uh, most of the brands are like uh, once they have delivered the order, uh, like once they have uh, received the order and they ship it. So they kind of that is the final entry, uh, like final point where they have lost the communication from the customer to the customers. There is no real-time order tracking status, uh, no proper uh, communications, no uh, customer doesn't know when they are going to uh, receive the order, in, whether today or tomorrow, or if there is any delay, if there is any uh, delivery issues are there, they are, they are not aware of that. And all these things leads to a negative uh, experience. And uh, most of the time, uh, the customers are once the merchant ships the order, so they kind of send an email like this is the tracking number, this is the courier name and you can uh, now you are on your own. And uh, this is a very typical behavior in uh, today's e-commerce and this can be easily uh, replaced with if a single branded tracking page where you can uh, actually just trigger a single S via SMS or WhatsApp or email, a single tracking page where they can completely see all their journeys. A, it, it can, can be a unified page where they can see the journeys and uh, when if there is any delay that can be there and they can see when the order is going to get delivered 
or in case of uh, any they, it can be also used or utilized to cross selling and upselling and on top of that it will significantly reduce your customer support cost uh, because uh, majority of the calls that the customer support receives is like when i am going to get my order and where is my order calls and by implementing a single uh, hacks like these can significantly reduce your traffic uh, to all, by almost 80% and uh, as we can see uh, from the various market studies like 80% of the online shoppers expect regular communications about their purchases so whether it could be their choice preferred choice or it could be whatsapp sms emails or maybe push notifications and 50 almost half of the customers will not uh, go through the purchase if they don't know when the customer when the order is uh, going to arrive and talking about the branded tracking pages uh, like uh, on the end notifications so branded tracking pages is uh 20 percent of the click through rate uh, are, uh some of the brands are generating almost 20 percent of the click through rate from their branded tracking pages which can easily uh, lead to their uh, you can say bought repeat purchases or cross selling and uh, we can we have seen people have who there are a lot of people who have uh, multiplied their repeat purchases purchases by almost eight times by just uh, utilizing the branded tracking page because a branded tracking, a tracking page is something where a customer uh, would open for, to, for almost five to six times on an average once they have shipped the order. And uh, on the email, if, if we talk about the open rate of the email, that is almost like uh, three out of four people are actually opening that email. And that is a high probability where you can actually uh, build your brand and uh, uh, deliver some message about your brand, how, why you exist, or maybe some new category launches, product pages, or maybe some new offers for the for the next purchase. So a lot of um, cross-selling activities can be done from the trend pages. Uh, once the order is in transit, so there are a lot of issues that happens. Uh, one is obviously uh, the, uh, the courier boy is falsely uh, has updated the status falsely. They are uh, deliberately updating the customer is not available even the customer is available and sometimes the customer wants to uh, update their reschedule the deliveries or customer want to update their address so they mistakenly uh, place an order on the previous on the other address or maybe they are out or somewhere else so there are uh, almost uh, if we see on in the cod part so there are almost 30 percent of the orders are into the cod and majority of them are uh, either the customer have refused or the address is incorrect or uh, the customer would like to reattempt or the delivery boy has falsely uh, updated the address. And if we are proactively following up with the customer in an automated manner and that can significantly reduce all these RTO, uh, 2 to 5% of all these RTOs uh, into successful deliveries, which can actually help in the bottom lines of your uh, revenue. And uh, so this is not the end, like once the order has been delivered or once the order has been refused. So this is not the end where uh, the experience journey of the uh, journey of the customer. And uh, there is still a huge gap in the returns or exchange part as well. And if you see it's, it's, uh, it's entirely broken as of now and uh, it's for any D2C brand, apart from the websites like Mintra, Amazon, Flipkart. So, Majority of the website are taking almost 15, 20 days for providing the refund or to uh, deliver any exchange item or processing, getting the reverse pickups. So that is a huge gap. Uh, there is no proper communication when the product is going to get picked up and uh, no, there is no portal where they can actually uh, come and uh, place the return request. And it can significantly hit your uh, revenues as well as uh, decrease your customer experience and result in a bad customer experience, which can actually go viral and uh, can backfire you. And if it is not good, customer customers are less likely to come back. Customers are less likely to recommend you, right? And you will have a negative brand perception uh, about your brand. And uh, I, I also had a similar experience and I don't know, uh, uh, it is very uh, leading furniture brand, but I have not, never tried to shop from that brand again because I was not able to return the item and it was very uh, complex, you can say bad experience for me. 
but uh, you can easily uh, turn the experience into a good experience by putting up uh, like an easy to use or a diy pages for their return exchange request they, they can come and easily select item which they want to return they can uh, uh, easily upload images as uh, give them reasons and schedule the reverse pickups and automatically uh, the customer picks up give uh, the customer is notified that uh, your order is going to pick uh, be picked up by today or tomorrow and the queue, after the qc and all the things uh, whether they would have to create the uh, exchange order or refunds so they can easily be uh, delivered to the customer and majority of the customer would uh, get would expect a refund credit or exchange product within 5 days of returning the merchandise or in some cases uh, the customer uh, like in case of mintra amazon so we get to once the moment uh, it is it is picked up and we get the refund or we get the exchange order created and last part i would talk about to measure the customer satisfaction and uh, get the reviews uh, once uh, everything has happened either, either the order is delivered or once the return experience uh, return has been completed uh, so uh, there are a lot of uh, ways where we can measure the customer satisfaction like net promoter score csat scores and uh, so it can actually help you measure in terms of how uh good you are as a brand in in the as a in the perception of the, all your customers and you can actually use uh these uh metrics in your on your website if you have a good net promoter score you can actually use them as social proof uh, or if you get you can actually ask them uh, uh, delivery or product reviews after uh, x number of days depending on the type of business that you have and can actually increase the product reviews and uh, which which eventually help you in uh, generating more revenues and more sales and more conversions so in a nutshell uh, customers nowadays uh, don't like to reach out to the customer support they would like to do it on their on their own and uh, they expect the brands to be able to present uh, before they have actually they have to uh, actually get their queries resolved and uh, to be uh, in order in order to differentiate from the competition you have to be as close to your customers as much as possible and to get their feedbacks to be able to serve them to be able to quickly roll out the new products new product lines and to be improve, to improve on packaging etc so uh, you have to be as close to your customers as possible so so that's all uh, in case you have any questions so uh, you can let us know thank you mr gupta for an informative session ladies and gentlemen a gentle reminder to use the hashtag etecom summit in all your tweets let's proceed further stay tuned <laughs>